You're gonna be my best friend. In 1985, Doris was enticed to return to television when she was offered a cable talk show focusing on animals. Taped in Carmel, Doris Day's Best Friends aired for two years on the Christian Broadcast Network. As her first guest, Doris invited her friend of 25 years, Rock Hudson. But when the handsome heartthrob arrived on the set, she was shocked by his changed appearance. The once robust actor now appeared frail and sickly. Yeah, it's so good to see you. Oh, it's good I to miss see those you. laughs we used to have. Oh, me too. I do. We had I so much had fun. I haven't had a good laugh like that since. We really had fun making movies. Yeah. Didn't we? Yeah. I wish we'd made more. We should do it again. Yeah, we should. Okay. What was your favorite movie that we did? What was my favorite? Mm-hmm. I think I like Pillow Talk. Rock Hudson was suffering from a mysterious new virus called AIDS, a condition he refused to acknowledge to his dear friend Doris. It was obvious he was very ill. She asked me if I would speak to him and move him into a guest cottage on her property and she was going to make chicken soup for the next five years if that's what it took, you know, anything just to nurse him back to health. Immediately after taping Doris's show, Hudson boarded a plane to Paris for treatment. But during the flight, the ailing star collapsed. Just two months later, Rock Hudson was dead at the age of 60. The episode of Doris Day's Best Friends aired after Hudson's death and Doris taped a special tribute to her old friend. I had to have Rock Hudson as my first guest. So I called him, and he said, I'll be there, you can count on me. And that was the truth. All his friends, and there were so many, could always count on Rock Hudson. He didn't talk about his illness, not one time. I can only tell you, my friends, that it was a heartbreaking time for me. Without my deep faith, I would be a lot sadder than I am today. I know that life is eternal and that something good is going to come from this experience. <laughs>